Hey, what's up? This is Ron from Stepwise Media, and we're going to continue with uh, our beginning Android application development uh, series. And the first thing we're going to look at is installing Java on our Windows machine. And we're going to be looking at installing the Java JDK, which is what we're going to need to start to build our Android applications. And the first thing we're going to do is go to Oracle's website, and we're going to be looking at JDK 7 Update 2. So from your Google command window, just type in Java SE Downloads. And we're at the main download page, and we're going to be looking at the JDK. Now, the JDK includes Java Runtime, so this is going to be the JDK that we're looking at. It's going to include the compiler and the Java Runtime environment. And even though I'm on a 64-bit platform, I'm going to be looking at the 32-bit Windows version of Java. And the reason I'm doing that is because the Android SDKs that we're going to be using with this build um, are 32-bit and to keep everything consistent, I'm going to be downloading the 32-bit version of JDK 7. So I'm going to save that, and it is a uh, executable. I'm going to download that uh, right to my Windows machine. And if you're involved in uh, developing for Java, um, involved in developing Android applications, um, having the JDK installed on your machine is going to be well worth its weight in gold. So I've got that uh, downloaded. I'm going to go to my downloads window and I'm going to slide it over to the desktop here just so we can get a better look at it. So I've got uh, JDK 7 update 2. I downloaded the uh, 32-bit version, and I'm just going to right-click on that and click Run as Administrator. And it's going to take a few moments for that to warm up. And in just a few minutes, we'll be prompted to, uh, to install our Java. You're going to click Next. And at this point, we're going to accept all the defaults. Um, we're not going to switch around directories. Um, we're not going to exclude anything. We're just going to accept all the defaults and click Next. And that will start the installation process of Java. Now from here, um, in future tutorials, what we're going to be looking at is once we install our Java development kit, um, we're going to be installing the Android SDKs and then we're also going to be further installing Eclipse and possibly a couple of other platforms to develop our Android applications. But for the but the very first step is installing the JDK on your system. And this will take a few moments. And at this point, we're just going to hit Next and accept the default directory. And 
And what's actually happening here, like I said, the JDK includes the Java runtime environment, which is what you would normally install to run applets from a web page, uh, to run anything that has a Java servlet page. Um, the JDK actually includes not only the runtime environment, but also the Java compiler. So if you're involved in compiling Java programs in the future, um, or running and compiling Android applications, which basically run on a Java platform, you're going to want to install the Java development kit, the JDK. And the current version right now, as we record this, is uh, JDK 7 Update 2. And as I mentioned, even though I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows 7, I'm installing the 32-bit version of Java just because I know that when I get to my Android SDKs, they run on a 32-bit platform, and they can be a little bit buggy sometimes. And you can continue to register. Uh, right now we're just going to click continue. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to our Java installation directory. So we go to computer, and then your program files. And if you're on 64-bit, it's program files x86. And we're going to go to Java. JDK, and then we're going to click the bin folder, and then in your uh, path directory, click the file folder, and that will give you the absolute path, and we're going to want to copy that absolute path. Because for right now, what we want to do is we want to add that to our Windows environment path. So in the search bar, you're going to type environment and go to edit the system environment variables because we're going to add this to our path. And you're going to click environment variables. And in the lower window, select path. In that lower window, select path. and edit. And you should be in the system variable. We're going to edit the path and if it doesn't have a semicolon at the end, make sure that you add a semicolon before you paste Java into your path. And you're going to finish that off by ending that with a semicolon and clicking OK. And clicking OK again and clicking OK. And we're going to test our Java installation by opening up a command prompt, CMD. And for the Java runtime, you're going to select Java hyphen version and then enter. And that's going to tell you that you have 1.7.0 underscore 02 installed. And that's your runtime environment. And now we're going to test the compiler by typing in Java C hyphen version and our compiler comes up OK which means that we've added it to the path successfully and we've successfully installed Java on our system.